Welcome back folks, I'm Z, and today we are exploring the left side of the map. So we have a new monster here, well, new to me. I'm sure it's not new to most of you. <laughs> um, but yes, this is Yaoi. <laughs> ya, yo, yoi, yaoi, I don't know. S like, like snowy? So it's yoi? I think it's yoi, not yaoi. <laughs> Yoey. Um, but it's it's a snowy yeti, basically. I think that's the origin of the name. Snowy plus yeti equals yoey. Um, wow, th this guy does not take a lot of damage. Very tanky. Um, but in the previous episode, we were exploring the stronghold dungeon. Um, and <laughs> we were stuck at a door. And I couldn't find the key to it, so I mean, we we'll, we'll, we'll explore something else, and then eventually I'll go back and find the key for the Stronghold Dungeon. Um, so <laughs> I mean, in this game, there's a lot of backtracking. So um, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, <laughs> but um, like in, in, in the title video, I'll usually have something like oh, part one or part two or something. I'll I'll start that whenever I go back. But wow, yeah, these guys are super tanky. Oh my gosh. And they do physical attacks. Oh. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage. That's scary. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, the good thing is they don't... They, they haven't done any crazy debuffs or anything. Um, so that's good. I mean, they'll they'll buff and they'll do physical attacks, but they're also super tanky. Oh my gosh. Alright, we took one down. Finally. <laughs> How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is okay. We have the holiday around the corner. Well, thank you all for being patient for this video as well. And, uh, I mean, if there are any games that any of you want me to check out, then also let me know in the comment section. I know a lot of you, I know a lot of you have been wanting me to check out Evo Creo. Um, I think that's what it's called. And I think that was released around 2017 or 2018. Um, and when I checked out, like, the Wikipedia page about it... <coughs> sorry. <laughs> when I checked out the Wikipedia page about it, um... It seemed to have like a similar premise to Monster Sanctuary, um, not 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 in terms of like storyline, but in terms of um, maybe gameplay mechanic, um, or at least it sounded the same. So I, it, I'm not saying it's exactly the same. I won't know until I try it. Um, and there are two versions to it. There's the light version. Oh, hi, old man. It's you again, the man with the slimes. Uh, so, uh, uh, I keep here, maybe to communicate. Oh, okay. I need to go find a lost object. Oh, there's an oracle here. Okay. Oh. I was just kidding around in a frozen lake. You know that, right? Well, what were you doing here? <laughs> I know you said you lost something, but... Oh, hello. Uh, ice blobs. What was I saying again? Something about Evil Korea? Oh yes, so there's a light version and then there's the full version. Um, and I think in the light version, there's, there are only some things that are limited. I forget what it is. I think it's like level um, or like some mechanics that you don't have access to. And it's only a mobile game, so it's not on um, Mac or uh, Windows desktop. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Um, I started off with mobile games. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, if if any of you are also interested in seeing, like, a Let's Play or a walkthrough or anything like that um, for Evo Creo, then let me know. But if not, then I'll just post, like, little clips here and there of me playing Evo Creo. Um, I've also tried exploring other games that I think some of you might also like. I haven't found anything concrete yet, 
but let me know. <laughs> like I said, if there are any games that any of you want me to try out. Uh, okay, so I mean, everything here looks... Everything here looks to be ice-based, so I mean, they should be weak to fire. Most, if not all, things ice-related are weak to fire. I'm really liking the the background image, the background scene. All of the trees and the mountains and the snow. I've honestly never seen snow like that before. I, I live in an area where snow is almost like non-existent. Um, and even if you go to like the mountains nearby, there aren't that, there, there's not that much snow. Um, so, I mean, everyone who lives around snow, let, let, let me know how that goes, yeah? <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's not easy living around a lot of snow. Um, more new monsters, yay. So this is Mogwai. Mogwai? Mogwai? It, it has antlers. It's so cute. <laughs> it kind of looks like a moose that learned how to walk on its hind legs. Um, <laughs> it has such a cute coat of fur. And thank goodness it's weak to fire. <laughs> Whoa, avalanche. Ice bolt. Wow, these monsters are really strong. I know in, I think it was in my last video or like another video, someone said to use my woof more. My starter, <laughs> my spectral familiar. Um, the only reason I am not is because I want to use other monsters as well. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm trying to deviate from using starters in like other games as well. Um, which I know defeats the purpose, like your starter should be your most special um, monster that you start off with. But... I don't know. <laughs> I, I I like that this game has so many monsters that you can try out, and every single monster is different. Um, so there's not one exact duplicate of another. Even when your monsters evolve, I hear that they are different from what they previously were. So, I mean, I want to try out different monsters. So close. We got him. There we go. Took him out with two criticals. Nice. Oh, we got a shuriken. And we leveled up. Nice, nice, nice. Um, someone also commented in a video, like, use your skill points, change your equipment. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I do that off screen. I just, um, all of this is in post edit. So whenever I post this, I edit out like all of the skills and the equipment changing like that. Um, and if I'm fighting a monster that I already showcased, then I'm not going to show that fight again. Oh, a switch. Wait, is this... Uh... <laughs> I think I pressed that switch one too many times. Yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> uh, I can't get up there. That's okay. <laughs> Platforming is hard. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. That's also why I don't play like Super Mario or anything. I'm just, I'm not good with platforming. Um, and my timing is always off. That's, that, that's why I stick to, like, strategy games. Even then, I'm not that great with strategy games. I, I know I can still do better. I'm sure I'm going to reach a point in time where I'm going to, like, really, really hate <laughs> just everything <laughs> about this game. Like, not, not hate this game, but th there's a monster I'm going to hate eventually. Whew! <sighs> and it's, it's going to give me like, such a hard time, and I'm going to hate it so much. <laughs> I, 
I can't get up there, unfortunately. Um, oh, that's a, wait, that's a secret passage. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I passed it so many times, I didn't even notice it. Um, strawberry. Nice, nice, nice. Um, well now, yeah, now I'm trying to find like all sorts of secret passages. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, pla platforming is hard. Um, wait. I think this is a secret passage. Yeah! <laughs> and we got the chest! Wool, okay. <laughs> That's alright. Wow, but you never would have guessed that was a secret passage because there was nothing to let you know that was a secret passage. Um, oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize I opened up that that um, pathway as well. But that's cool. Um, should we... There are different paths to go, so we can go up or we can go down. Um, oh, okay, I guess... Eh. Can we get through this? No. <laughs> I need to activate that switch to get through here. Um, I don't know if anyone has seen the, like, announcement trailer for Super Smash Bros. Um, <laughs> uh, Sephiroth was just announced as the next DLC character. Um, and I know some people have already gotten Sephiroth because he is... He, he can be unlocked as a boss, and if you beat him, or if you go through like a series of fights, then you get him. Um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't tried it yet. I, I don't have the second fighter's pass. I only have the first one. Um, but I should definitely get the second fighter's pass for myself <laughs> as, a, as a holiday treat for myself. Um, yes, but... I don't know that that I, I I'm excited for Sephiroth. I, I I don't play Cloud in Smash Bros. I'm trying to think who is my main. I think Zero Suit Samus. I I play Zero Suit a lot. Um, oh, a chest, awesome. I also play Piranha Plant. Believe it or not, <laughs> I I like trolling around with Piranha Plant. I'll I'll throw out some poison, and then I'll. I'll, um, retract myself into, like, my little pot, and then I'll shoot myself out. Um, I don't know. Who else do I play? I play a lot. Um, I play Ike. I play... Oh, wait, that's a passage over there. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is all over the place. Um, I don't know. It's It's been a while since I've played Smash Bros., and it's also because I'm not very good at it. Uh, but maybe I'll play, like, on a stream or something someday. Like, I'll invite people to come play with me. Oh, I can't go in there? But it's just water. It's, <laughs> it's frozen water. I guess I'll freeze to death <laughs> if I go inside. That's okay. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> uh, I can't platform today. Oh, man. That's okay. Um... I wonder who everybody else plays. Like, if any of you play Smash Bros, let me know who your mains are. So this is a new monster. Um, what's its name? <laughs> I don't know its name. It's a cat. Um, that's okay. It, it, it's a cat. It has a it has a bell on its collar or something. Oh, um. Its name is Caraglow. 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 I think Caraglow. I, if I can beat it fast enough, then I'll be able to get an egg. I don't know if I can, though. They don't seem to be taking very much damage. I'll go ahead and take out Mogwai. Mogwai. <laughs> Ma Mogwai reminds me of, um, Ugwe from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Kung, Kung Fu Panda was definitely one of my favorites. Um, I think... I don't remember if there's a Kung Fu Panda 3. Is there? I don't know. Um, I, I forget. But Kung Fu Panda 2 
was definitely one of my favorites. Um, yes, there was a Kung Fu Panda 3. I'm just remembering. Because they're different. They're different villains. Um, and, th I mean, they've been out for a long time, too. I think, I think Kung Fu Panda 3 is where there's, um, like, a, a, a student of Uguay's who becomes evil. Like, he was trapped in another dimension, and then he becomes evil, and then he comes out, and he starts, like, he starts ta um, taking out all of the other students of Uguay or uh, Master Shifu. Um, and then the second film is where, like, the, the, the villain is, like, a peacock or something. Um, I forget, but they... Uh, I just remember, like, they took out a whole panda village. Um, and so Poe, I think he was, like, the only panda for a long while. Um, so we couldn't get an egg for Caraglow, unfortunately. That's okay. Um, oh, a secret passage. Um, oh, this is, this is new. I've never come across a, uh, dark passage like this. No, I can't light up the, the area. That's okay. <laughs> Can I make it, though? In the dark? No, I don't think I can. Oh, man. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> That's okay. We'll come back eventually. Um, but, yes. Um... Right in the in the second film of Kung Fu Panda, the the pandas were going through like a genocide. They were they were being hunted down, um, and then Poe is still a baby when all of this is happening, and his mother leaves him like in a in a I think a barrel or something. Oh, a treasure, nice. Yeah, but um, Poe basically gets left behind so that he doesn't have to face the same. Uh, fate as his parents and the rest of his brethren. Um, and I just remember that scene where Poe gets left behind. And it's so sad because he vaguely remembers it too. Um, I think Kung Fu Panda 2 was definitely one of my favorites. It's... Oh, uh, I'm getting I'm getting teary-eyed just thinking about it. Um, <laughs> um, oh, so, okay. Nice. Good thing we can activate ice switches. And we got leather. <laughs> I know there was like a Kung Fu Panda series. Um, and a Kung Fu Panda spinoff where like there are yo like younger pandas or something. Like younger students. Um, I forget. But I, I know Kung Fu Panda... Did, like, it started off, it had really good reception, but it wasn't until a few years later, I think after, like, the second film, where it really got more recognition, like, where it got its spin-offs. Like, shortly after the second film, that's when the spin-offs happened. So, another anime rant. Um, <laughs> I, I just finished an anime, like, it had 12 episodes, it was called Grimgar of Ash and Fire, I think that's what it is, I, all I know is it had Grimgar in it, um, it's, it's a very good anime, um, I don't know how many of you like the isekai, uh, genre of anime, um, but if you like Sword Art Online, then I, I think you will like this as well, because it, it, it doesn't follow, um, just one character who's overpowered and is trying to save the world or anything. It follows a group of characters who are fairly new and weak, um, to this world, or this yeah, the, uh, this world. Um, but the continent they are on is called Grimgar. Or at least the town they're in is called Grimgar. I forget. Um, <laughs> but they they basically have to survive as a group of six. And they they go through a lot. Um, there, there's not that much action. Um, oh, nice. We got two eggs. <laughs> 
Uh, there, there's not too much action. However, there is a lot of dialogue. Um, so you can get connected with the characters and you, you, you learn what drives them, what makes each of them so unique. And you, you, you just feel really connected to them because you're not focused on just one character. I mean, granted, the narration is based off of one character. Um, oh, this looks cool. Can I break through? No, I can't, really? Let, <laughs> I guess I need a wrecking ball to break through here. Um, <laughs> um, oh, there's a switch up here. I should be able to activate it. <laughs> I can't platform. <laughs> Um, yeah, my seahorse should be able to activate it. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, but yes, Grimgar, you, you get to, you get to hear how every character feels. You get to see, like, character arcs, how each character develops and changes throughout. Um, oh, hello. You come at just the right time to assist me with my experiment. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lady Stasis, a scholar. Cryomancy. That's what you... Oh, okay. Shockhopper? What's a shockhopper? Is it a bug? Um, no, I've never heard of it. <laughs> Whoa, a species that went extinct over 400 years ago? Oh, wait. So... Said, oh. Wow, so she's going to revive a species that has been extinct for over 400 years, but she needs the DNA of another monster called Dodo from the Horizon Beach. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I think that's amazing, being able to revive um, a monster like that from another monster's DNA. Huh. She's cool. I like her. <laughs> yes, but uh, Grimgar of Ash and Fire. I think that's what it is. I, I forget what the last part is. <laughs> but it's it's a very good anime. Um, if, if, you, if you don't like dialogue, like heavy dialogue anime, it's not for you. Um, but I, I, I enjoyed it. it. It was very nice. But the, the one I'm currently on right now is uh, Log Horizon. Yes, and then the Log Horizon, it also follows an isekai uh, genre as well. Uh, basically, I think 30,000 people get locked into a game and they can't log out, so they're forced to live in this video game. Um, but it's not, they, they learn that it's not a game anymore, and they have to basically learn how to adapt the, oh, hello. <laughs> that looks like a kangaroo. <laughs> but it's blue. I think that's so cool. Um, but yes, Log, Log Horizon, basically the characters have to learn how to live in this new world. Um, and you, you, you follow a tactician who was very well known for helping other players when um, when th this game, I think it's called Evertale, was just a game. But now that they live in it, it's a little different. Um, and he's he's still recognized as the very um, the very tactful strategist that he is. And uh, throughout the anime, of course, like you, you also get to you also get to meet new characters who who come off just as side characters, but you also get to focus in on their um, personalities, and you get to see how they develop as characters. So you don't just focus on the main character; you get to also see how everybody interacts with one another, and you really do feel like the characters in Log Horizon are building a community and it's not just a bunch of players going around playing, doing quests, trying to survive and whatnot. Um, so I, I definitely recommend Log Horizon for anyone who 
enjoys like the political side of video games. Um, and if you don't enjoy that, then I mean, you you can still watch this for the characters. And if I'm not mistaken, Log Horizon has two seasons. Um, I don't know how many episodes the second season has, but the first season has, I think, 24 or 25 episodes. And I'm on episode... I think I just finished 18. Yes, I, I think I just finished 18. Um, I won't spoil anything too much, but um, if, if you want to watch it, I think it's on Crunchyroll? Um, I, I, I also have an app on my phone called Katsu. It's K-A-T-S-U. Um, it's free to download, free to use, but basically it's an app that allows you to watch all sorts of anime. Um, and you watch it through different sites, basically. Uh, think of it as like a browser for different streaming sites. I guess that's the best way to explain it. Yeah, it's a it's a browsing app that has data that's collected from different streaming sites. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, hello. You're new. <laughs> a minotaur? I'm not I'm not sure if it's thing, but I mean if it has horns and it stands on its hind legs, most likely a minotaur. <laughs> Okay, it's weak to fire. Good to know. Um, it looks really bulky too, <laughs> cause it puffs out its chest like that. So I don't know how many of you actually play Pokemon, um, like the the newer Pokemon games, like their Sword and Shield, and then they also have their expansions. The um, I think the Crown Tundra is what just came out, and when I mean just came out, I mean I know it came out like a few months ago, <laughs> but um, I have that expansion, but I haven't played it yet because I'm just I'm kind of tired of Pokemon. It's basically just the same thing, different region. Um, and these monsters, unfortunately, these monsters, <laughs> the, the newer Pokemon, they, I don't know, they, they weren't really doing it for me. Um, some of them I liked, some of them I didn't really care for. Um, and it's just, it, it, it doesn't feel too unique. Or may maybe I just, I, I wasn't playing it for, like, all the new stuff. Um, I, I wasn't really feeling the raids. I, I, I don't really care for raids. I, Pokemon has always just been a one-player game. Um, and, of course, you get to, like, trade and battle other people wirelessly. But I, I just wasn't crazy about, like, the raid system. Um... But I, I don't know, like, what new mechanic um, Nintendo will come up with for the next generation of game. Um, and a lot of people are speculating that Diamond and Pearl will have a remake. So, I mean, maybe there won't be a new generation. Maybe Diamond and Pearl remake will play into the same um, generation as Sword and Shield. And, I mean, there, there's a lot of speculation going on about it, like, oh, there are the new Reggies. Like, you have Reggie Lucky and um, Reggie Draco. I think that's its name. Um, and maybe you need them for, like, the, the Diamond and Pearl remake to access, like, Reggie, uh, blah, 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 Reggie Gigas or something. Um, <laughs> the, the Reggie names are so... <laughs> they, they, they're such tongue twisters. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, let's activate this switch. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, 
Um, yeah, but I mean, I, I would be excited for a Diamond and Pearl remake because frankly, that was my favorite generation as well, Gen 4. Um, I remember like just being like 12 or 13 and just spending like all my free time basically playing um, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I, I played every single one of them. I never got bored because um, there was just so much to do and like... Every Pokemon felt so unique, um, and if, if I played one Pokemon in Diamond, then I would play a different one, different one in Pearl, a different one in Platinum. Um, oh, a chest! <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's see. Level badge, awesome, awesome. Um, level badges are basically the rare candies of Monster Sanctuary. Um, no, yeah, but I, I really enjoyed Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, um, and I, I loved the, the, the change in storyline with Platinum, like, getting to go to the distortion world, I loved it, um, oh, it's a switch, I didn't even, oh, it activates that one up there, okay, let's, yeah, let's get you going here. There we go, and we're up. What did that activate? I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, that's... Ah, there we go. We made it. <laughs> when in doubt, just claw your way into every wall. <laughs> Alright. Um, no, seriously though, what did that switch activate? Um, is there something over here? Um, I don't think there's anything to the right side of us. I think if you just fall off, you die? <laughs> I'm not sure. Actually, there are these platforms. Oh, well, all right. Um, <laughs> finally, <laughs> there we go. All for an almond. Uh, but everyone else, let me know what generation of Pokemon was your favorite. Um, I, I always wanted to play Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but I never got a chance to. Um, and they looked like amazing games too, honestly. Um, I, I wish I got to play them, but I, I didn't have the resources <laughs> to to get Heart Gold and Soul Silver, unfortunately. Um, Ooh, there's a chest. Why haven't I gotten that yet? <laughs> That's okay. Um, let's go down and see what's here. Oh, okay. Um, alright. That's cool. Is there something up there? I don't know. I think we've explored just about every- Oh, there we go. Activate the switch. It's, uh, that's not fair. I didn't know there was a chest. <laughs> Should I go back around? Uh, <laughs> eh, that's okay. I think that'll be it for now, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next episode, and we'll finish off this area. Boop.